What is God's purpose for business? God's purpose for business is to reveal Christ, to bless and help other people, to provide the means necessary for what people need, and being able to provide jobs for those people so they can take care of their families. The purpose of business and when God calls certain people into business, whether it's working in a corporate environment or it's entrepreneurship, building something that never once was, or just building a business that replicates something else, but is providing jobs. God has a reason for business, and business is all throughout the scripture. We know that Joseph uh, was very blessed in all that he did, and God blessed everything he touched and did. Uh, we know that Solomon, once he got wisdom from God, he would receive riches and honor. And when he was working for the temple with the king of uh, Tyre, I believe, uh, we know that he oversaw, obviously, he developed uh, what we would know as Solomon as the chairman, and then, you know, a CEO, vice presidents, directors, managers, employees. But he oversaw over 100,000 people. That's incredible. So when God uh, allows us to prosper in business and what God's purpose in business is, is to get us in environments where secular people are so we can evangelize and make disciples of men. God uh, allows us to be placed in business and pursue entrepreneurial endeavors to provide jobs for other people so they can take care of their family and have a good income. Uh, we want to be just as Solomon when he said to King Tyr, uh, he didn't say, oh, you know, is, 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 you know, two shekels enough or is this? What he told the King of Tyr is he said, you choose the amount that is appropriate for your laborers and consider it done. So Solomon gave the king of Tyre responsibility to do right, to make a responsible decision, and this allowed the king of Tyre to have autonomy and also to uh, deal wisely and do appropriately with Solomon. So Solomon didn't want to suppress uh, the king of Tyre uh, or the uh, workers of uh, the king of Tyre. He wanted to bless um the workers of the king of Tyre. So God's purpose is to provide income so that other people can provide for their families. It's also a means of potentially being raised up, depending upon the level, of being a leader within a certain realm and having power and responsibility to show that, hey, business isn't who I am. My identity is in Christ. It's Christ who saved me from sin. And people tend to listen to those who uh, tend to be in positions of, of more power and authority and leadership. We know from the book of Ecclesiastes that the poor old man saved a whole city from a king who had uh, basically overthrown it. But then what does uh, the book of Ecclesiastes say? The city forgot about the poor old man. He was wise, but he was forgotten. So Business is also for a means to God to place us in certain positions and to steward well that position and to show people we're not living for this world, but for the, uh, but we're putting the kingdom of God first. We're living for the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the purpose for business also is a means to gain money from the ungodly and to distribute it to those who are in need of help, who we can just bless and give to without making our name known or without... Uh, making people aware of our giving. We want to move in silence. We want to bless others in silence. We want to give in silence. And so there are many purposes for why God has business and the reason why he has it and what we can do with how God blesses our business pursuits and how he leads us in them when we seek him for his leading. And we know that we can come to know God when we believe Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, and we repent of our sins. As this occurs, we receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one who guides us and reveals to us God's purpose for business collectively, but also our individual business, our role, our responsibility, and what we are to do with what God blesses us in and what he blesses us 
with. May all glory be to God forever and ever as we continue to want to do business with the right intentions, to be Christ-like everywhere we go, to help others, to enjoy the fruits of our labor, and to provide jobs and uh, encouragement and recognition to people who may otherwise not have received those things.